We're really excited to give students an opportunity to be involved in research within our center, uh, the Center for Research on Self and Identity. Um, we always have undergraduate students involved in our research activities at the various stages, and that might be uh, the design of the study, the data collection, so the actual running of the study, data entry, data analysis, and then writing up a draft. Um, so in each stage of the research cycle, we're very eager to have undergraduates involved. So here's an example of what it might look like. Students get involved in our research in two ways. One is through their research project, which they complete in their third year of study. The other is through a voluntary research assistantship in which they can become involved um, earlier. Um, this is a very good way of uh, becoming acquainted with the research that goes on within our center and then might guide students' choices in their third year and, and, and inform what they might want to do for their third year project, their final year project. My own research focuses on the emotion of nostalgia. So over the past 10 years or so, we've investigated when people become nostalgic, um, what nostalgia does for them, and um, how people define nostalgia across cultures. And what we found is that nostalgia is predominantly positive. We've done research with children in schools, and we found that children as young as six, seven years experience nostalgia. We've also done research with elderly uh, individuals using uh, random samples of uh, national populations um, using survey companies. And another way in which we approach participants is through uh, online surveys that we post on the internet. I think our research can be of benefit to people by providing insight and knowledge about the ways in which they think, feel and act. Sometimes people may feel that they ought to think and feel in certain ways and this can make them worry if they deviate from this normative pattern. For example, people may feel that they shouldn't think about the past and that it's wrong to look back on past experience. Our research shows that contrary to this traditional view, it is good to look at, back at the past. And this can be liberating or ease people's mind when they find that they frequently do this. We found that students really enjoy being involved in research on nostalgia. Um, it's a very engaging, personally relevant topic that they experience themselves. And likewise, at the point where they become involved with our research participants, they quickly realize that our participants are very personally engaged as well. In terms of how the student can benefit from taking part in these activities, one of the most amazing things is that it looks fantastic on their CVs. So not many other research universities offer these kind of placements. Um, and so this is something that will put their CVs ahead of other people who have done a similar degree. My research focuses uh, mainly on narcissists. They are very self-absorbed. I uh, think that they're better than other people, but don't really care about the warm, fuzzy interactions that other people may care about. Getting ahead is more important for them than getting along. Um, so the research that I am looking at uh, relates to their lack of empathy and how this can explain the antisocial proclivities that they then have. Primarily, um, because this is personality research, we use a questionnaire designs and we explore their level of narcissism as well as their level of empathy when we expose them to certain, certain emotional stories. Um, but in addition to that, as well as seeing how they emotionally respond to something and self-report on that, we also explore their physiological responses to empathy as well. So using the biopack equipment, for example, to monitor their heart rate um, and also facial EMG to see how they respond um, facially to uh, empathic materials as well. The plan is to come up with an empathy intervention. Uh, we are making some progress already, so we're trying to find ways of making empathy appealing to narcissists so that they're more likely to want to use it. 
then we're hoping what will happen is we will be able to reduce bullying in schools, we will be able to increase their likelihood of donating to charity um, and hopefully um, decrease reoffending rates in prisons. Students who are working on the projects relating to narcissism find it fascinating. Everybody can bring to mind somebody that they know is narcissistic um, and the fact that we are trying to find ways to intervene to make the life better for narcissists and the people around them, they want to be involved in that research.